Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks of TalkToProfit.com. Today I want to talk to you about the power of Thanksgiving. I'm recording this the day before the holiday of Thanksgiving in the United States, and I'm not talking about that holiday. That holiday is a commercial event mainly where people gather together to eat the dead flesh of animals and oftentimes argue over politics and nonsense and other drama. I do appreciate that in that there is some thanksgiving people are attempting to be thankful for what they have but as with many of those holidays and things like that it is a one-time thing or a seasonal thing but you should be thankful every single day you should wake up and be thankful for the breath of life thankful that you know god thankful that you know his son thankful that you're walking in the light as he is in the light as you go throughout your day, there should be constant things that you're grateful for, that you're appreciative of, that you're thankful for. Whether it's the light turning green for you, whether it's, for example, I live kind of out in the country and going into town, you have to go through, through a train track. So it is a a blessing to be able to go through that and not have to wait for the train to pass because oftentimes they're very slow. There are just all kinds of little things like that that just seem like nothing, little things going on in your life that you can be thankful for. And you can walk in that thankfulness, but see, here's the thing it does for you on a vibrational level. It puts you in the position to receive more things to be thankful for. Oftentimes people look at those little things like, oh, it doesn't matter. You know, God doesn't need to be, to be appreciative of those things. It doesn't really, it's just so tiny and small. But the thing is, when you walk in that state, vibrating at that high level of gratitude, of thanksgiving, of appreciation for life, and for all the blessings you have in life, you start to get more things to be grateful for, more things to be appreciative of more things to be thankful for. Now, all you got to do is look at the world and look at what they do. It is a constant state of ingratitude. It's, it's fear. It's this bad thing's happening. That bad thing over there is happening. Look at the news. That's what the world is being fed by. That's their scripture, so to speak. That's their word from their God, the God of this world. And it's all negative. Even the little tiny short stories of positivity always have negative aspects sprinkled in. That's just the way they do things. And they get the lives they get because they're focused on those things. But you, my friend, know better. You, my friend, know God. The one who is, who is the sustainer and provider of all good things. And you can walk in that. If you've been going through life just kind of only appreciating, only being grateful for these things that are big things and not the small things, you may have limited yourself. God's not limited, but you can limit your ability to receive from him. You can limit the blessings that you can get. God's always sending blessings, but if you're looking at the wrong direction because you're looking for negativity, you're looking for a bad experience, you're looking for that bad thing to happen and not looking the other direction to where all the blessings are that are just freely available and waiting for you to receive them and it's that simple you ask and you shall receive but that asking is done in faith it's not wavering and you're doing that asking all the time but what are you asking for are you asking by thinking of those things you're grateful for by being grateful for those things by being thankful for them by walking in that in the constant state of gratitude, appreciation, and thankfulness, that that is your life? Because I've never known anyone that's going through all kinds of struggles who is actually doing that. It's always people who are negative and in drama and they're watching the world's media, news, movies, listening to the world's music, all these social media and all this stuff that drags them down cause them to not be appreciative of life, cause them to be ungrateful, and then they wonder why their life is not living up to the abundant life that Jesus came to give them. 
Now it's important that I note that you can't do this just one day. This, this Thanksgiving holiday, that's great. People are thankful for one day. This has to be a daily thing. And you want to really ramp it up, make it an hourly thing. Every hour of the day that you're awake, set a timer on your phone and have it go off and think about something you're grateful for. Every waking hour of the day, try that. You don't have to do that, but my point is, if you start doing things like this to really ramp up your gratitude, to ramp up how thankful you are for things, really tiny things and really big things, it doesn't matter, you will start to operate in that vibrational state that receives more things to be grateful for. If right now your life is just consisting of receiving more things to be depressed about, to be sad about, to be fearful of, to be anxious over, then you need to make a change. You could talk about, well, this person did that to me and that person did this and the government and all these things, and they may have their part, but in the end, your life is the result of your heart, what you've been thinking, what you've been meditating on. The prosperous man's meditating on the Word of God, the goodness of God, the things of God. In his law, does he meditate day and night? He's the one who's prospering. If you're meditating on what you fear, what you're worried about, what the world's worried about, what the world's talking about, all this negativity, all you can attract is more of those things to be fearful of, those things to be anxious about, those things to be worried over, those things to be angry over. They'll get you all riled up over something that has nothing to do with you. They'll get you hating people you don't know. They'll get you hating yourself. They'll just drag you down into the mire with them. They love being in the mire. They love other people being in there. That's not where you want to go. And so I want to encourage you today to be thankful. What is there in your life that you can be thankful for? I guarantee you there's a lot of things. I don't care where you're coming from, what position you are in life, all what kind of negative, awful things have happened to you. You have hundreds of things to be grateful for. And I know that may seem extreme because people say, well, you don't understand. I have no money and this. You have literally hundreds of things to be grateful for. The fact that you don't recognize that, the fact that it would be hard for you to even come up with five good things that you're grateful for, shows that you haven't been operating in this vibrational state of gratitude. You haven't been a thankful person. And that's great news because now you know what you need to change. Now you know the solution to the drama and the dilemmas that you're in right now, if you're going through those things. You don't have to be in the dark wondering why, well, I've tried affirmations, why well, I've tried visualization, well, I've tried this and I've tried that. But have you done all that from a grateful heart? Have you done all that in the spirit of thanksgiving? Have you done all that truly appreciating what you currently have, where you are right now? My friend, Start today to be grateful. Start today to show appreciation for the things you have, for the people who you have. Start today to be thankful. My friend, let every day be Thanksgiving for you. Let every day be a day of gratefulness. Let every day be a day of appreciation. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.